It was set up for me and Waylon Jennings. And uh, Richie kept saying, Tommy, go let me find your place. Because you know, uh, Waylon gave up his seat to the Big Bopper because the Big Bopper had the flu. And I said, well, no. So three or four times that night, he, every time I seen it, he said, come on, God, I'll be fine. And uh, I kept telling him, no, no, no. So after the show that night, I got on the bus, got a dirty shirt, my white shirt, so we get some laundry done up in Morehead, Minnesota. And had them in a little bag and walked back outside and right behind the surf ball in the station wagon with the guy that owned the law room, his name was Anderson, he was taking us out to the airport. So I slid in the back seat with the big bopper and buddy, for some reason, buddy Holly said, Tom, to go back in and check, make sure we got everything loaded. And back then, you didn't have roadies. We loaded our old stuff and carried it and set it up. And so I go back in through the back door of the surf into the dressing room. Richard was standing in the doorway, going out into the ballroom, and he was signing autographs. And he said, Tommy, come on, let me fly. But for some reason, I don't know why, I just reached in my pocket and pulled out a 50 cent piece, flipped it and said, call it. And he said, heads. So I said, you're flying. So I go back out to the space right and tell buddy. He said, I won't be on the plane because man, Richard flipped the long seat he goes and he won the corn toss. That's, that's how the corn toss came about. And uh, I think about it. You know, you. You just uh, get up every morning and thank God you're still alive. So. <laughs> so when I was in California in 60 to go work with Liberty Records, and I tried to find Rich's mother, and they had moved up around the San Jose area. I hadn't seen or met none of the family until 1994. I go back to Clear Lake on the 35th anniversary, and I met his sister Connie. And you know, I wondered, well, what do you say? You know, all, all the time I thought, is she going to hug me back? Is she going to blame me? Or, you know, she was so gracious. I said, you know, we welcome you into the family, and from now on you'll be, you're our brother. So I had a new family. I got to balance. Do you want to share with us some of the stuff that you're doing currently, or do you travel around to different Yeah, we leave here and go out to uh, Albuquerque for uh, Rio Dulce, New Mexico, for a week, and uh, we got a few days off. We actually do a soundtrack for a movie about the uh, a book that's written about the show that night, and we that out, and we're going to do a movie about it, and we have a couple music tracks on that, so we're staying busy. Oh, it sounds like it. Then you have a website? Yeah, you can just, uh, I guess, uh, tommyaltson.net. You can see, yeah, I'm on there. Okay, great. So, so people can come and see your music yeah. and everything that you've done. Right. Well, I really appreciate you spending a few minutes with me before the show, and um, we'll be sure to get to catch your everything tonight. Yeah, we'll, we, uh, we'll be looking for some of the good weather over there. Yeah, so we'll be out there. Yeah, 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 we'll be out no, just keep rocking, you know. Keep going, keep doing it. Lovely. Thank well, you. I appreciate it. Thank you and for joining us on Indian Country. Well, I told her mama